Inside of one crisis, there's another. One that caused Chelsea Premack to send out what she calls an SOS email, asking if anyone has space in their home to rent out to refugee families. We were desperate. I literally got in my car one evening and drove between Colfax and Montview, Alton to Peoria, every single block, and took photographs of any apartment that had a phone number on it. Chelsea is the programs manager for the African Community Center, known as ACC. They were founded by Ethiopian immigrants, but they help people fleeing persecution from around the world. For the month of June, we have, I believe, five families coming. ACC helps find those families places to live, and they even pay deposits in the first few months of rent. But right now, Chelsea and her team can't find their clients' homes. For another family that arrived yesterday, it's another adult child and two parents, we have them staying with someone temporarily because we're unable to get anything for them at the moment. In the last four years, ACC saw a 90% decrease in refugees coming to Colorado because of more restrictions under the Trump administration. With a new president, refugee resettlement is going back to how it was, but Denver has changed. In the past four years, the prices in Denver have skyrocketed and the requirements for renting are much more stringent. Many apartments won't even look at tenants without credit or rental history. ACC hopes to find landlords willing to accept a letter from them in lieu of that history. The biggest challenge that we face is this housing crisis. So we are honestly afraid, we've talked over the last few days, that we're afraid that this could impact the future of refugee resettlement in Colorado, that ultimately it could not be possible to happen if we're unable to find um, secure, affordable housing ongoing. An affordable housing crisis that Colorado faces not only for its current citizens, but its future ones too. Katie Eastman, Nine News. And ACC told us while the refugees might not have credit or rental history, they have been vetted on an international level by the FBI and the Department of State. So any landlord should consider renting to their clients and consider it a safe bet.